this is a follow-up video on uh, some of the 433 videos I've had on anything Arduino. So I've had some questions and I thought I'd clear those up a bit. Not totally, but... Um, so, I've had a couple of questions about range. And for those of you that did watch that two-hour movie where I made these buttons, uh, you see that in these, uh, in, in this particular, not in the small button, pocket button, because it didn't have space there. So what you see here is a, a antenna and a 12 volt battery. So 12 volts, that is uh, a 12 volt battery, one like this, they are called... 23A, there's probably some other, MN21, MS21, V23GA, and L1028. This some of the markings these uh, 12 volt batteries can have. So more power from the battery means more power to the, uh, to the sender, uh, and that uh, more power out in the ether. So a bigger range. So that's a, a bigger battery capacity and the PT2262 can handle 12 volts and is actually made for 12 volts and so is the these modules. Uh, and the other thing is an antenna as I showed you you can buy these on eBay as well uh, just a couple of bucks or I think one dollar or something and you get the bag with ten of them like this. Um, other ways to do that is in uh, in these remotes the green cable that goes from the small uh, sender module and down here that's an antenna and you have in these newer ones there's also an antenna in the receiver so you can have an antenna in both in the receiver and the transmitter and then you get bigger range as well um, yeah and you can and you can do an antenna just with a piece of wire like this connected to the ant connection on both the module and also you have it says ant there it's not ant, it's for antenna. You shouldn't put an ant there. So the RC switch uh, library works with these old kind of uh, um, modules that use the PT2262 or in the yeah, PT2272 is the module used in these and PT2262 in the remote. <coughs> However, someone said that he used one of these newer modules from uh, in Sweden. There's a company called Sartano that makes them. And they are self-learning, so there's a small button there uh, that they you press and then you have a, a, a remote that looks like this. And you press the button and it should uh, and, and it works this one doesn't work with the RC library and also you have these if you buy LED strips you can you can buy with uh, RC remotes like this which technically should work on the same band so what I've done I've made a so this is a shouldn't bother about this uh, circuit here but I'm going to explain it anyway because everyone's gonna ask so this is just a passive amplifier um, and I did this just to show that you could actually send uh, audio over this although it's very noisy so but I'm not using this now I'm just going to use so the power from the Arduino nothing else is just to power this uh, receiver and the receiver will then just is just connected to one of the audio outputs so we're just gonna put in a speaker here so we just put in a speaker 
and when we turn the volume up so that noise that is how noisy this module really is uh, so what happens is so you hear the noise, and when we press this, they sound sound almost the same, everyone. But so the sound you hear here, that is the sound of the binary data sent over the uh, over the radio. Now, this um, controller it sounds like this almost and you take this one with a completely different uh, set of codes sounds like that and then we have this one so first we want to see if it is at least in the same band and when we press a button we should hear something and and we hear something uh, it doesn't seem to be it, it just sends one signal and it doesn't seem to be as long and also this one let's see this one as well so also it's still on the same band but what I think is that the frequency so not the not the radio frequency but the frequency of the of the sent signals is very different in these two modules so I open up one of these new ones um, just to see if I could figure something out. Uh, there is a oscillator there, as you can see, I think. Um, so that probably has something to do with the frequency of the received signal. Um, on the back, there are my cat. There are three chips, and as you can see in this video here, there is one called DITGH8. And as far as I can see, this is just uh, an EEPROM chip. Uh, the other two are, one is completely unmarked, so I really can't say what that is. And the other one, the last one, has a W on it, so doesn't tell me as much either. Um, I should need to know what these two chips are. If anyone has any idea, please uh, let me know and maybe we can figure this out. Either that or we need a library for these. Maybe there's another library out there I haven't found yet. And of course there is a library for this. I did a search for remote switch library, yes, which I found on a on the Arduino forum, someone who talked about this, that uh, the Sartano uh, switches, he got them to work with that. This was from 2011 though. So, and he says uh, download the remote switch library. So I searched for that and I found uh, HomeWatch Arduino Remote Switch which looked as it was something we should use. Um, the, uh, there are two styles of remotes. Old style which uses switches or dials to set the house code use this library. So this library is for these PT2262 uh, ones that we have used before. And then the new library, which uses a button on the receiver to learn a signal. So that is exactly what we talked about before. Use the new remote switch library instead. So we use the new remote library instead. And we go down to libraries and we have new remote there. So this one should work with these. So we download this one. Actually, uh, we go here to big bucket which is here and and he explains it a bit more these are the older models and the newer models and surprisingly and very cool is that it you actually can 
uh, talk to the weather stations with those remote outdoor units as well. So I have a few of those lying around as well, so we can try that as well. And so we download the stable code as a zip file. So at this very moment I only want the new remote switch. That's the one I want. So let's see. Examples. If we have any examples here. Remote sen new remote sensor and we want show received code. Okay, so we have connected the Arduino. Let's see new remote receiver 0 comma 2 shows see the interrupt parameter of attach interrupt for possible values and pins initialize receiver on interrupt 0 which is equals to digital pin 2 calls the callback show code after two identical codes so the callback so the the function we run is show code on interrupt 0 which is pin 2 which is the same as the other uh, library and 2 was that we want to have the code twice right so let's upload done uploading serial monitor <coughs> okay so here we have these two new remotes also we could have the old remote as well so let's see if all these works. Let's start with the old one and see if that works. That does not work. And the new one? Oh, I think I read somewhere that we need to have it at 11.52. Yep, 11.52. If you ever in the serial monitor get those strange signs, it's usually that you have the wrong baud uh, speed. So, let's try again. Look at that! S address 66113526, unit 15. Huh, group on. Group. It knows exactly everything. Interesting. And again, the old one, nothing. Let's try this one. So this one does not work, uh, but this one was way much slower. So it was probably a completely different, different protocol again. So we have three. Sorry. So we have three now then. But uh, so with this library, we should have these new models working. That's it. Take care. Bye.